Evan, the teenage suspect in Monday's school shooting in Ellis County faces a judge for the first time. A teenager was wounded in that shooting. CBS 11's Brittany Jeffers is live at the courthouse in Waxahachie with the latest on those developments. Brittany. Well, Russ and Karen, we just walked out of this courtroom about 10 minutes ago, and in this case, the judge ultimately decided, uh, agreed rather, with the state's recommendation, saying that this teenager should be detained for a number of factors, being he doesn't have adequate adult supervision. They also say that he might be a risk, a safety risk to himself as well as to the public. Now, the judge also ordered a psychological evaluation. Now, cameras were not allowed inside the courtroom today, and the suspect kept his head down and nodded during the judge's instruction. A teenager is charged with two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Now, this all stems back to Monday. A 16-year-old is accused of firing a gun inside the high school campus cafeteria. One of those students, 15-year-old Noelle Jones, was injured in that attack. Now, today, the state says that that girl was shot in the neck and abdomen. They also say he narrowly almost shot another student. The state called this ordeal, quote, a living nightmare. Now, the defense today did not argue this detention. The district attorney says that this case so far has been an emotional one. I have, I have children in school as well, and I'm not unimpacted by the events that take place in our world today, and I worry for them. And I worry for the family of the kid that did this. You know, there are no winners in this, no matter how it shakes out. And so it's a tragedy for everybody involved. And so I'm not, I'm affected by it just like everyone else. So. so looking ahead, the next hearing we're told will be on February 7th at 3 o'clock. Reporting live here at the Ellis County Courthouse, I'm Brittany Jeffers, CBS 11 News.